Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Nicole. And I'm Louie. Here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's College of Maryland has announced the artists who were selected to create a structure that commemorates the enslaved people of Southern Maryland. Norman Lee and Shane Albritton, artists from Texas, and Quentin Baker, a poet from Seattle, were chosen to create their designs from absence to presence. The art competition is is in response to a 2017 archaeological survey that revealed evidence of two slave quarters that once existed on campus grounds in the 18th and 19th century. The county commissioners plan to kick in a 1.3 million for nonprofit groups in the county next year, except for one group, the Unified Committee of Afro-American Contributioners. The UCAC participates in the number of fundraisers and events throughout the year including the annual Juneteenth celebration at John G. Lancaster Park, and the commissioners have funded the event for the minimum of 10 years. But due to the scoring process, which financial officer Jeanette Podmore said the UCAC did not pass the usual 4,000 for the agency was not included in the draft. Podmore had stated that the county board that the nonprofit and scored below a 60 on the application. What does jazz, math, midwives, food, addictions, and artificial intelligence have in common? All of the topics and more will be addressed through a day of talks and lively performances on Saturday, March 23rd, as TEDx Great Mills presents Community Connections. It is designed after the TED Talk Performances, which stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design, and is organized by the nonprofit that showcases short, powerful talks delivered by today's leading thinkers and doers. The speaker event from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. will include short casts about talk talks about topics in math, music, leadership, technology, and design, and more. Tickets, which can be bought in advance or at the door, will cost $25 and will include a lunch as, for, as long as supplies last. For more information, you can visit TEDxGreatMills.com. With spring a couple days away, the water may still be cold for the sailors at St. Mary's College in Maryland. That hasn't stopped the Seahawks men and women sailing trains for starting the 2019 portion of their campaign. The Seahawks took the seventh place finish at their season opening behind Stanford University. The teams are off to a strong beginning under the leadership of longtime head coach Adam Warblo and newly assistant coach Allison Sheen. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Louie. And I'm Nicole. Signing off.